And welcome to your gold market update charts of interest for today, Monday, the 19th of December. We hope you had a great weekend and that your Christmas preparations are going according to plan. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, here to take you around what's happening today. Of course, if we look at what happened at the back end of last week, we saw another sell off in the US on Friday. Perhaps a little bit of a seller shakeout going on. Continuing recessionary fears were the narrative. And we saw all major indices trading through key levels, which is interesting. Despite that sell-off, we are seeing a little bit of positivity in markets this morning, relatively speaking. We're seeing the US futures slightly higher and Asian indices, although following that negative US lead to an extent, that are significantly off the lows of the session. The ASX has moved back to trading near neutral with materials and energy stocks outperforming today. European equity futures are also pointing to a positive open the US dollar index bounced off June lows and so USD crosses were strong but still within a downwards trend channel and we are seeing it slightly lower again in Asia against most currencies. Gold is still trading around about 1800 and oil is up after a week Friday session. The VIX moved lower again today and really if we look at last week's performance with the VIX which is a measure of investor fear, we actually closed up lower than the beginning of the week, which suggests that despite the twos and fro's of markets last week, then investors aren't in too bad a position in terms of fear. We did, however, see a significant drop in Bitcoin. It is back below the key 17,000 level. Be interesting to see where it goes from here. Very quiet day today, not really anything of note. We've got German business climate numbers this afternoon, but that's not really going to impact on markets significantly. If we look later in the week, we've got weekly jobs on Thursday and the important PCE data out, which is the inflation measure the Fed likes to look at. A couple of charts that caught our eye this morning. Coal stocks are doing very well. We're seeing Whitehaven coal move up again. We talked about New Hope last week and you can see Whitehaven coal pushing up towards that key 1090 level. Worthwhile checking on that towards the back end of today's session and into tomorrow for a potential challenge of that resistance that is there for all to see. On the FX front, the Aussie dollar US looks interesting. You can see if we look at an hourly chart, we're trading in between 66.80 to the downside, 67.30 to the upside. So around about a 50 pip range. A breach of that to the upside, and we looked as though we were going to do that earlier in the Asian session when we've got this move up in the Aussie dollar, would be interesting. Perhaps a move up of around about 50 pips in the first instance to around the 67, 80 level, but perhaps even 100 pips up if we get some momentum coming into the Aussie dollar and some selling in USD across the board, which looks very possible at this stage. Whichever way you slice it, we would suggest that risk is still on the medium high side for today. So some caution is merited. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.